Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4x hanging style rack here on our 2021 Volkswagen Golf GTI. So the Hitching Post Pro is a really cool bike rack in that it is tried, tested and true. It's very popular since it has most of the features you would expect from a hanging style rack and it is reliable and sturdy. So let's take a look at the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack. We have one, two straps here at the top and this third strap working kind of as our anti-sway strap here at the bottom. So when you wanna take your bike off, that's where you start. So you take it off by pulling on that strap and releasing it from the tab, holding it in place then putting it off to the side so it doesn't get caught up in your frame. And once those are released, you can then just grab your bike and feed it through these arms and then you're ready to go on a bike ride. And with the bike out of the way, we get to take a close look at the cradles themselves. So you see here how they are designed with different grooves and that's going to be for your bike's brake lines. You have these strong, sturdy rubber straps and these wrap around the frame and secure into these tabs. Now one thing about that rubber strap design is that it is going to take a little bit of effort to wrap it around, especially if you got it at the tightest um, setting right there. So that's also a good thing because that means it is secure. Now something special about this bike rack is actually with the bikes off, we found that with our Volkswagen Golf GTI here, it comes out far enough to clear the door, allowing you to get into your trunk, maybe grab your helmets, your bags, your water bottles, without taking this bike rack off or even bringing it to a tilt. It does come kind of close, but it makes it, and it's awesome. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen it, so especially for this car. Now, if you do want to bring it to a tilt, I'll show you how to do so. You pull this clip, and that allows you to take out this pin, and that allows you to drop this down to a tilt. So this is, you would do this if you want even more space to grab things from out of your trunk. Let's say something really large, really heavy. This gives you all that space and clearance to do so. And then when you're done, you just pull this up and put this pin and clip back into place to secure it. Right there. And then, oops. It can be a little tricky if you're not used to it. So it is a slight learning curve, but once it's secure, then it's secure. Now this has a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike and you have one, two, three, four cradles. So if you do have, let's say, heavy electric bikes, this may not be the best option. I highly recommend taking a look at our platform rack options if then. But if you just have normal, regular bikes, if you and your family all wanna go out for a bike ride, this is usually more than enough weight capacity for you guys. When you do have a bike rack though, there is some length added to the back of your vehicle. So we're gonna be taking some measurements just to see exactly how much. So from our rear bumper to the end of the bike rack, we have it at about 42 inches long. So that's pretty normal for a four bike rack. It is gonna be about, um, it isn't as long as other four bike hanging style racks because your cradles are gonna be six inches apart. If you want more clearance between the two, you might be interested in the Yakima Back Road bike rack, which gives you a little bit more space to work with. Let's talk about how you can fold down or cut down on that length though. So you pull out this clip and then pull out this pin. This allows you to bring those arms down to a drop, then put that pin and that clip back into place. Again, lining it up is usually gonna be the most difficult thing about this rack. I've tried other bike racks where there's different knobs that you have to put in place. Here's just a pin and clip, nice, quick, and simple. We'll take some measurements again. 
Measuring from our bumper to the end of the bike rack, we have it at 18 and a half inches. Big difference compared to when it was folded out. You definitely want it in this position when you're driving around town. As for the closest point, it's gonna be from the bumper to, let's say that mast right over there. And it's gonna be eight inches from that mast above the shank and then 11 inches from that main mast. Again, you are gonna have that clearance with the door open. Yes, nope. You will not have clearance with that door open. Okay, so let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. Our Volkswagen Golf GTI has an inch and a quarter hitch receiver. So that's the shank size that this bike rack has. It fits right into there and it uses or comes with an anti-rattle bolt. Now that anti-rattle bolt has an included tool, but I highly recommend picking up a socket with a 19 millimeter socket. That's what I use to tighten it down because it's a lot quick. It's a lot faster that way. You're gonna have a ground clearance down here of 11 inches. And since this is a hanging style rack, that's pretty good because if you do have a platform rack, you might be a bit more concerned about ground clearance with your bike sitting lower to ground. But with a hanging style rack, you have them high up over here. With it folded up as well, you can see how your rear window is mostly clear. Your tail lights are completely visible. Your latch is right over there, so you still have visibility. And this does slightly cover your license plate, but not as much as a platform rack would. All right, so my final thoughts about this bike rack is I do like how it sits far enough to open a door. That was really unique. Not really something you would see in a normal hanging rack. I do still recommend bringing it to a tilt if you're gonna bring out like maybe large bags or boxes from your trunk. But if it's something quick and easy, that's a really cool option. Now another thing is that this is maybe one of your older bike racks if you're looking for something with more features. We have them here at eTrailer.com. But if you want something reliable and quick and easy to use, this may be a good option for you. So that was a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 Bike Hanging Style Rack here on our 2021 Volkswagen Golf GTI. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.